What do we need to teach our children? That one commandment which God gave children, honor your father and mother. That means respect them, first of all, and obey them. We have to teach our children that. And if you are a son or a daughter listening to this program, let me tell you, if you want it to go well with you, and if you want to fulfill the length of your days that God has appointed for you on earth, honor your father and mother. Even if you're 75 years old and your parents are alive, honor them. Honor them till you die. You don't have to obey them once you leave your home and set up your own home or you're earning your own living. Jesus obeyed Joseph and Mary as long as he lived in that home. The moment he left that home after his baptism, once his mother came and told him to turn, told him about the lack of wine in Cana, and he said, Woman, what have I got to do with you? Don't interfere in my ministry. Jesus didn't disobey the scripture there. He honored his mother. He cared for her when he was hanging on the cross to take care of her, to provide a home for her. But he did not listen to her once he left the home. But as long as you're living at home, under your parents' authority, the command for you is obey your parents. Do what they say, unless they tell you to disobey the word of God in some area. Then you have to obey God and say we ought to obey God rather than men. Like the Apostle Peter said in Acts of the Apostles, chapter 5, verse 29 and 32. But in every other area, you must obey them. But honoring them must be true throughout your life, even when you leave your home, respecting them, never speaking evil about them. You may see many weaknesses in your parents. Hide it. Do you know why Noah's son Ham was cursed? Do you know why? When he saw his father's nakedness, Instead of hiding it, he went and spoke to others about it. Do you speak about your father's weaknesses, which you have seen at home, or your mother's weaknesses? That will be a curse on you, like there was on Ham. Get rid of that habit. Why do you need to expose your father's weakness and mother's weakness to other people? If you want, pray for them, but keep it hidden unless you're seeking for advice from some godly brother to whom you go and share, this is a problem you're facing, then it is all right. Because that godly brother may need to know your problem in order to help you. That's the only situation in which you should reveal the way your father or mother are behaving which may not be godly. But to talk about them as gossip, will bring the judgment of God upon your life because you're not honoring them. This is so important. It's so important for us as parents to teach our children obedience, to break their stubborn will when they are young so that they learn to obey us as their parents. That is how we prepare them to obey God one day in the future. But if you don't break their will when they are young, they will never be able to obey God later on in life. It will have to be a miracle. It does happen in some cases. God is great. But it's our responsibility as parents to do it early in life. When shall we start punishing them, correcting them? As soon as they are able to understand. If they can understand what you are saying when, you're, when they are one year old or one and a half years old, that's the time to start punishing them if they disobey. And the earlier you start, the sooner you can finish. By the time a child is 13 years old, there should be no more need to use the rod on that child anymore if you started when the child was one. And if you did it in the fear of God and wholeheartedly. But if you were careless then you have a problem on your hands when your child is a teenager. He does not know how to speak respectfully. He does not know how to obey you. He doesn't know how to obey God. 
This is the tragedy in many Christian homes. What shall we do? Repent. Say, Lord, have mercy on us. And those whose children are still in that early stages, not yet teenagers, do what Scripture says. Bring them up in the fear of God. Teach them to fear God. And the greatest thing you can do as husband and wife is be united. Don't be divided in the punishment of your children. Be united in following Scripture. When husband and wife are divided, it brings chaos into the home. It opens a door for the devil to come right in and destroy your children. Be united and the devil will find no gap between you to come through and attack your children. And be a good example. Don't tell your children to do what you can't do yourself. Be a good example. Be united, father and mother. And be a good example. And from such a life, God will be able to lead your children in godly paths. One last thing. Parents, pray for your children by name every day. Every single one of them. All through your life, pray for your children by name every single day that they'll grow up in a godly way. And then God's heart will be satisfied as our homes become godly examples and a light in the midst of a dark world.